you come to me, you're hungry. I could give you food. I'm like, here you go, here's some food. Right? Cool. You got food. Now, how about tomorrow? How are you gonna eat? Am I gonna feed you again? No. So for that, I'd rather come in and teach you how to fish. Right? Okay, I taught you how to fish, but now that you know how to fish, doesn't mean that you could only fish in the same lake that I take you. It doesn't mean you could only fish in the same beach that I take you. Now, with that example, I'm gonna talk about the question. Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFace.com, your boy's backing out and did it again. Yeah, we here. All right, so today we're gonna answer somebody's email, right? Now, this is a very good question because a lot of you guys probably feel the same way and you know, a lot of you guys are thinking the same way and I don't know why. I want you guys to take this and I'm gonna bring this example from the beginning and I already said this before, okay? Pretty much. So this kid hit me up with, um, basically he wanted to know like, Joe, you know, this new project that you're building sounds pretty cool, I wanna do it, I wanna work on it and it's great, I'm happy for that, right? But he feels like, you know, 30, 100, 200, 300 people are also going to do the same project. And it's like, if they're all going to do the same project, how am I going to eat? How am I going to make money? Because they're all building the same project. Guys, understand this. When you take a course, when you're learning something new, you're learning the concepts. You're not going into the course and say, hey, I'm going to take this course and reuse it and put it in my portfolio. Not every situation is going to work like that. Yes, you could take this example and put it into your portfolio or apply it into something, but you're learning concepts. You're learning concepts, you're learning new ideas, you're learning to use new tools for your career, right? It's not like cookie cutter where you can say, hey, I'm going to cut this and reuse this and this is going to work every single time. No, it doesn't work like that, guys. I'm teaching you guys how to fish, right? I can teach you how to fish. I can take you to the lake, but that doesn't mean you always got to go back to that same lake. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying with that, right? I'm teaching you how to code. I'm teaching you how people make money, but that doesn't mean just because we did this project, this is the project that you need to continue to make money, right? Because those are the problems that a lot of uh, a lot of people that create tutorials, they sell you that dream where it's like, hey, you take this course, you take this class, this specific project, this specific way is going to make you a millionaire. No, what you're learning is the concepts of how to make money. Because if you don't know how to make money, who cares if you know the skills, right? If you know how to code, but you don't know where to find a job. Who cares? It's like you could code in your house, know how to code, but you don't know how to find clients, then how are you going to make money? You know what I mean? Like, that's the same thing for this project. This project is about how to use your skills that you already know, your HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and some of you guys are more advanced than that. Some of you guys already know the back end. How you can make money creating small services out there, put it up online, launching it, buying a domain, uh, putting it on a host service like uh, Namecheap, GoDaddy, etc., and make money, right? The reason why I'm telling you about this is because I've done it and it works for me, right? Now, doesn't mean that because we're doing a crypto project, like a cryptocurrency profits type of project, means that that's what you need to build. No. You have to do your research. You have to take this course and understand it and learn it and be like, okay, this is what we did for this project, right? How to calculate the profits, right? It's a small little service. Now we got to launch it. Does it mean that you have to build the same thing? No. What you need to do is understand all the steps that we took to build this thing and launch it and say, hey, you know what? I work for like your boy, Jerry. Your boy Jerry, he comes here. This is a very good example. He's learning to code because he wants to create a service for the ambulances and, and the fire department. He wants to create a service for those people because he knows what they need. So he's learning to become a developer because of that. Because he already has a good idea for that, right? 
is the same thing for you guys. Guys, you're telling me you've never been to, uh, let's say, for example, gone to uh, go get your, your driver's license, right? And you got to ask a million questions when you get there. And the person that's in front of you is a complete a-hole. And you're like, I don't want to deal with this person. There got to be an easier way. How about you with the skills that you have and everything that I already taught you, create that, right? Or how about, hey, I'm over here in, you know, in a pizza shop. We all waiting for our slice of pizza, right? This seems very simple and very stupid. We're waiting for a slice of pizza. There's 20 of us waiting for the slice of pizza, right? Everybody got an order. Instead of us waiting on the line, how about we sign in on a website or an application and then from there you call us when to go to the register. You got what I'm saying? Instead of us using, like you know how you ever been to Applebee's and Applebee's give you like a little button that flashes whenever uh, your, your food is ready or your table is ready. How about we do that for online on a website where any, any company could come in and be like, okay, everybody who's waiting online. Go to this line, uh, go to this website, the, uh, the QR code, scan this QR code, and now you're signed in, and etc. And now you're waiting online without having to wait online. Like, you could literally be outside, smoking a cigarette, hanging out with your friends, talking, you know, talking with your friends. Come up with a service that's going to make people's lives easier. Don't expect that my project is supposed to be the one that you're going to reuse for your projects. Or, or, or your way to make money because then that will be me selling you a dream. No, I don't do that. I don't want to do that for you guys, man. This is not about me telling you, guys, this specific project is the one that's going to make you a millionaire. I don't do that, guys. I don't tell you, <laughs> like, use this project. This is the one that is going to make you blow up. This is the one that is going to get you a job. I don't do that. But even when I tell you guys the five projects that will guarantee you to get a job, because they will guarantee you to get a job because they all have different difficulties. That if I'm an employer and I'm hiring somebody and I see that they have a real estate, they have a portfolio, they have a digital agency, they have a restaurant, they have an e-commerce, I know this person can literally build anything that I throw at them. Especially if they got the front end and the back end. You get what I'm saying? But that doesn't mean that just because I tell you that those are the only projects that you need. You need to put on from your own side. And it's like I'm teaching you the skills, man. It doesn't work like that where I could just grab your hand, bring you into a job. It doesn't work like that. Let's be realistic, guys. You have to put in your part. I can't hold your hand, bring you into a job. I give you the skills, I show you the things that are going to make you a better developer, give you like a leg up above everybody else who's going into jobs, but you have to also use your brain. I keep bringing this word out. Use your brain. There's certain things out here that should be like a requirement, like, I don't know, like that should be at the bottom of every course or everything that I do. It's like minimal requirement, using your brain. That's it. You get what I'm saying? And I know probably somebody's irked, they're like, man, but I'm new to this. I'm just learning this. Guys, this is not science. This is just logic. You get what I'm saying? Like, this is logic. Come in. You get what I'm saying? Like, come in, create the project, learn from what I'm teaching you. From there, reuse the skills that you've learned and apply it to your own idea. This is not about me telling you this specific project is going to work for you. No, because that's what I'm telling you guys. One of the things that I said in the, the main video said, hey, if you need a, a large team or you need a lot of time to build an app, you already failed. Because it needs to be a small app, something that you could test it and see if it works. If it doesn't work, you leave it alone and you try again with another application. If you see, let's say you create something for a healthcare system, healthcare system doesn't give you enough traffic, you leave that one, you work on something else. Like you find the right niche, you try it, create something quick. If it works, then you scale it. You get what I'm saying? Like this project that I'm building is not the only project that you're supposed to have on your portfolio. You get what I mean?